Check pump close. Checking your let off. And let off and lost motions too tight. So what baffles me about this is um, we've regulated it like three times. Hmm. Interesting. So why is the regulation so bad? in a soccer team, then you need to know about an app that can entirely change the world. I was trying to take a picture. I'm so sorry. The internet's resetting me. Sorry about that. It's embarrassing. Is the internet resetting? Yeah. Okay. It's making my phone act weird. So what would throw the regulation off so quickly? So extremely and so quickly. Something structural maybe. Would it could it So like something structural? Jacob said mm -hmm. check the key bed. Check the key bed. Which I think is a good idea. Well, I just, okay. And those bolts also do fun. Mark.
sharps in particular. Yeah. Is there any boats inside these? Yep. What? Well, what do you guys think? So, how would you describe the symptoms? Because it feels weird. Yeah. But that's probably the biggest symptom. feels weird. Do you think you could... What do you think? Um... Well, one thing that I'm seeing or feeling is as you go through that key movement, you feel let off. And then it just kind of keeps going yeah. after let off. Yeah. And so that's why I was suggesting looking at the key then. Mm -hmm. It kind of feels like that felt punching is really squishy, but yeah, it's not exactly the same. There's too much aftertouch. Yeah. Yeah. You know, maybe there's a there's some sort of flex in that or something. Do you have a dip lock? Just curious. Mm -hmm. Sharp. Sure, like it feels especially. like too much blood. Too much aftertouch, but it doesn't yeah, feel like it's too much. It's these little Especially in the edible packets they leave in here. Mm. <laughs> Silicone? <laughs> <laughs> Silicone dioxide. I'm just gonna sneak in here. Yeah. Is, right? Is it right? Oh, it's dip look. Dip looks great. Can get the top? Yeah, it's squishy. That's what I mean. That it, there's a lot of movement, but it's not necessarily that that's wrong. So dip is correct. Uh, is it this, this, <clears throat> these stupid things right here that stop the jack. How squishy it has more after touch. It's hitting against this red felt right here. Squishier felt normally over here. I mean, that feels normal. Mm -hmm. Like, the felt feels normal. But, so that's what I mean. I'm, I'm trying to vocalize what I'm feeling. Yeah. Because when you press down, you right. see let off. Okay. And you get to the bottom of that key trap, but then there's like, all this movement afterwards. Yeah, I think it's hitting the, the jack stoppers. It's squishing into them. Interesting. Before, like it has too much after touch, but it has enough that it's hitting this thing before it hits the bottom of this, maybe. Place for something. That has to move a lot for that to happen. It's possible to cheat that out. Well, that's on the wrong thing. That's not even on. Oh. My bad. Well, if anyone can figure it out, you guys can. Dip is a little much on the sharps. Well, it seems to me like it's just out of regulation. Yeah. That's all it seems. How come it like, keeps going out of But why, yeah, why does it keep going out of regulation? Just, you know, it just seems like we have to increase the blow to decrease our aftertouch. These back checks are kind of squishy. Year and a half? Yeah, it's not. It's, been a long it's time. pretty new. <clears throat> it does also seem a little bit bright, but I don't know how much. 
much of that would go away with too many, mm -hmm. some of that really obnoxiousness mm -hmm. in the tone. There isn't anything blatantly wrong with this piano. Yeah. Take the key slip off. Maybe it was just an especially raw one. Could be. Good job. <laughs> Who was shaking the piano? <laughs> <laughs> take the action out and I would just tighten everything that has to do with the frame and then re-regulate. But that's kind of just to hedge the bet because I don't even I don't, yeah, I don't see, see anything any problem. Right. Yeah I was expecting to see like a crack in a in a bracket, an action bracket or something in a key bed, something structural like that. One of, well, one of those two things, I don't know what else it could be, um, but I don't see any of that. The only thing that maybe could play a role is the, is the, what you found, Jacob, the slightly loose brackets, but I mean, I don't know how that could account for such a dramatic shift in regulation. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're two ways to tighten the, the action brackets. One is to, tw to turn the bottom things up. The other one is to take the action out and just kind of pound the, the little metal arm things down. If it's at the top, I prefer the latter. I prefer to pound it down because you, you can only assume that, I mean, especially if you listen to the top note and your, and your strike point is correct. And if you if you raise if you raise that one up, you're going to mess with your strike point. Whereas these two, um, I don't think. Uh, well, if the left two light changes matter in the strike point, if the left two are loose, and I mean you could kind of assume that that one might be high, as long as the strike point is fine. I wonder if you could lower it. Well, I don't think I don't think these two being loose would be a caught would be a product of that one being high. I think these two being loose mm -hmm. is just is just a product of the dimension from here to here. Oh, okay. So Okay, well my anyone before I Make a proposal. Anyone have any other ideas? Aliens. Yeah. I'm try a different to oh, sure that's a texture. <laughs> on the on 7P, I didn't find some of the broken brackets until I took the action out. Oh, yeah. Because they're too large. They're just wedged in between. Facebook Live session brought to you by the letter. Is there another wooden P nearby? <laughs> There's a 5P also uh, it's a one up P right there. there. Yeah, it's the. It's the their P, P series. Yeah. So, so this it's is really like nice. one. This isn't the one P. Mm -hmm. um, and the P series oh, has I mean, a wooden P. One twenty-one. 
That's pretty cool. In my room before. Never seen an aluminum tea bed before. Show you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> nice steel. Wow. It's not solid aluminum. It's it's just the rails. And and then they have like so it's like a it's a frame. It's like a, yeah, it's a frame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Never warps. Which is why you should buy a 5P. Yeah. Aircraft grade, does that mean they anodize it or something? I don't know. I was, I was just making it up. Oh, okay. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Too. I don't know. Well, is that, is that looser <laughs> than normal? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but that's not going to account for a dramatic shift. No. No. Sloppiness, but in in the touch, right. yeah. it didn't feel as crisp, but it wouldn't just change. So maybe it's the sum of all of these tiny problems. Anything here, Scott? Looks normal. Looks normal. No broken brackets. Not that I can see. Okay. Mm. Well, let's uh, breakfast. Let's just try and tighten tighten up everything on the action. Um, tighten up the uh, take out the keys. Tighten everything up there. Probably raise these two a little bit. Take the gas and quarter inch. <laughs> Curtis said he did a CA glue treatment on a ward member's piano. Aborius. How'd it work? He said Facebook Live showed him how. Facebook Live. <laughs> how did you lay it down? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Let us know, Curtis. Great. Now you did something. <laughs> oh, because wow. yeah, you weren't done. What piano? Gets the Where'd your keys? Keys? There we go. Did you want the keys on anything in particular? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. he put it on rolled up moving blankets. Oh. That's out. smart. Just got a bunch of people to help out and <laughs> lay it down. That's, a That's cool. Yeah. I've done that by myself before and it's unpleasant. It's scary. Yeah. That one David made that so. tilter. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. It folds up really nice. I did that once in a, feel like it's a uh, church building, mm -hmm. so I had to get it to the bottom. So, how did you do it? I laid like five hymn books on each side and yes. laid it on the hymn books. There you go. Yeah. Hymn books are very useful for a lot of things. <laughs> Okay, let's get a few screwdrivers. I guess let's move the keys for it. Is Joe checking the bushings on the keys? Is that what he was doing? Yeah. yeah. That might, do you think that might be it?
What number regulation is this? Four, maybe? What does that I'm mean? Just gonna what number? It? It's been regulated several times. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. This would be four. This isn't doing hardly anything. It's pretty normal. Mm -hmm. Tiny little turn. Already pretty tight. Good. Um, everything is, all these screws are turning a good amount, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know how, how odd it is. It, you know, I was expecting to see like a big crack in the key bed or something. Yeah. Adjusting more than more than any other 121 that I've seen. I think let's put the keys back in unless you see anything, any, any reason to hold off. No, I don't. Go for it. to me at one point. Um, is that these 121s are so cheap in part, I mean particularly in comparison to the P series, in part because they uh, aren't really <clears throat> put through any kind of rigors in the factory. That they're just kind of manufactured and then like immediately packaged up and shipped out. Mm -hmm. Whereas the P series, they they put through the, the pounding machine and they season them and 
re-regulate them and kind of huh. go through all of that process in the factory. <laughs> so maybe these are some really mushy ones that fell. Maybe that's what we're dealing with. I don't know. Did you replace? Did you try replacing it? No. Because we have. Why do they put these uh, curves on the underside of their sharps? How much are those screws turning, Scott? Tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, barely any. I don't see any problems with the soundboard, the bridges, everything looks good there. Let's put the action back in. And
isn't uh, kind of snapping on to the little button things. Um, yeah. Like more so in the middle one than the back one. More so in the middle one? Yeah. Do you want to raise that one up a little bit more? The base one? Times do you normally end up regulating one that's new from the factory? Twice. Twice. Okay. Usually, well, it, it depends on on uh, whether. So, so the first regulation we do when we prep it. And then, depending on how long it sits, we'll either regulate it again in like six months. Good morning, Good morning Julio. Julio. Hi. I forgot my music. Yeah.
happened to you after we tightened stuff? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I can tell from down there. It's gonna be feel different now. It does feel a little bit better to me. <laughs> I dos cacamonias. I dos cacamonias in. Uh, no, in uh, in piano. A aquí. Okay. Sí. the key leveling more and um, I think when you were raising the key level is that because the or I mean lower the key I don't know it looks kind of low hmm. I don't know I just start from the very beginning and then work your way up to whatever problem there may be So I, um, I think that would probably be overkill to start from the, you know, to, to re-regulate, to change the key level. So if you change the key level, you have to change the dip. Um, and, and I don't think it would benefit, benefit you at all uh, to change the, change the level. The only thing that I'm really seeing is that uh, other, than, other than tightening up the let off rails, <clears throat> yeah, is uh, what I'm what I'm seeing is the blow distance needs to be changed, the let off needs to be changed, and the back checks. So, um, so right now the let off is too far. It's probably a quarter inch. The the blow distance is too close, causing too much aftertouch. So if we if we increase the aftertouch or increase the blow distance by. on there so I'd probably start by removing those felts and we'll probably have to use some some thinner felt oh, okay. well we'll probably still have to use felt because I think that this surface here is probably too far that would be too much blow distance so it's probably somewhere in between and then uh, 
and then back checks. So, um, cause the dip is, what do you think about the dip, Joe? It's relatively in range, but it's a little, dip. it's a little uneven to yeah. a noticeable degree. A little shallow. It could be just some of the back check, so. I would say, distance. yeah, I would say that confirms. That I think there's too much aftertouch. That's the problem. Another another way that you can check if there's too much aftertouch, if you have the if you have the back check relatively correct within range anyway, you see how much how much that jack is yeah. pulled away from the hammer butt. It should just be just a sliver. Okay. The the front edge of the um, jack should just be barely not touching the bottom of the hammer butt. But with this, it's like way back there. See how far back that is? That's much, much more than a sliver. So I'm talking about, I'm talking about this, the relationship of this part here. Right. I'm trying to get it. Well, let's see, maybe this one would <laughs> be this easier. Angle. Yeah, I can't see it very well. I'm talking about the relationship of this part here with So, so when it's in check like that, there should just be a little bit of a sliver between the the very front edge of the jack and then the leather. But that's that's a lot of space. So, so that kind of confirms that there's too much aftertouch. So what I would, high. well, yeah, what I would probably do is after after we find the right aftertouch and we have the right let off, then I would go through and kind of um, make sure the dip, even out the dip, and, and probably adjust our aftertouch on each note by kind of finely tuning the the dip, not using the not using the dip block. But using aftertouch as the as the gauge for dip. These black keys feel the worst. Way too much. Way too much. Well, yeah. Not, maybe not way too much, but more than. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's like there's like eighty thousand. I don't want to feel the white keys at all. I don't want to be close to them. There's like eighty thousand aftertouch or more. I bet if we. So, I don't know. I guess I guess the only thing is that I can think of at this point is regulate it and then see what happens in another six months. Like, is it could it possibly still be adjusting in you know, six months six months from now? Is that the main complaint? Complaint was just that it didn't feel right. Yeah. Fisher? Sí. Sí. Pero es una mezcla de dos lacas. Sí. Un satín y un mate. No, un brillo y un mate. Es bonita. La, la, la textura, ¿ves la textura y la laca? Sí, la, la, la textura es. Así está todo el pelo. Sí, ¿verdad? Apenas ayer mezclé esas dos y quedó muy bonito, me gustó. Mm. Bueno. 
tóxico, ¿verdad? ¿Qué? Tarda mucho en secar. La, el, el, ¿Qué? Porque le puse desde ayer una muestra pequeña y no ha secado. Si sí, tienes un poco de tiempo. Okay. Okay. hits the back check. So now with that much lost motion, we have not quite enough. So lost motion so so now the now the rest rail just needs to come back to meet yeah. to meet that much lost motion can okay. that feel better when it's like lower down on the back jack There's still, there's still too much aftertouch. Yeah, there's still. And it, and it, and it's coming in contact before the. It's coming in contact with back check to the catcher before the key is done with its stroke. So it kind of keeps pushing. Keeps pushing the, the hammer too much. Anyway, um, it's kind of anticlimactic, I mean, but... <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, let's it. Just re-regulate is the yeah. answer. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Scott. Is there so, an e easy um, spray thing for getting a little tightness to cushion you from replacing it? Mm -hmm. Some people using VS Pro felt to help expand it again. Oh, I yeah. think that makes a big difference for me. Step down used to use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can use. Uh, I think you have to heat it up though. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think you use that little iron thing. That's right. And then it puffs it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think he he put it in a bottle and saturated it. Mm -hmm. And then and then he has an iron. That just mm -hmm. with cost. There's the answer. That's, right. that's, that's the answer I'm going with. Check back Sounds in six good. months and we'll, we'll maybe have a completely different opinion. But, but there it is. So. There it is. <laughs>